It's going down in a hard time. Worlds of men will decline. for tuning in to another episode of Three Quick Questions with Ian M. I'm Ian M. And today I'm here with some uh, guys out of uh, North Hollywood, California that I'm sure you're gonna hear of in the future if you haven't already heard of in the past. They're gonna be, uh, 2012 is gonna be a big year for them and I'll let them explain, explain it to them and I'll let them uh, introduce themselves and let them tell you the name of their band. Well, what's up everybody? We are Till All Is One. I'm Mike McKay, vocals and guitar. Marco Morselli, drums. Neil Kogan, guitars. Arthur Suresh, bass. And like he said, together they are Till All Is One. And you might be asking yourself, Till All Is One, what, what's the meaning of it? What is the background of it? So my first question today is, can you uh, let everyone know how you came up with the name Till All Is One? Well, um, I want to just first off go ahead and acknowledge the fact that grammatically it's incorrect because you would say typically Till All Are One, uh, but there is a slightly esoteric type of meaning to it. Um, I'm not, to, not to get too heady about it, but um, I, my original concept when I was thinking about a name for the music that we create was something that would be an expression of the, the type of uh, cohesion and integration that exists within our music and also within our you know, collective as a band because we all come from different, uh, different walks of life and in some ways different ideologies. I think you know, we have certain fundamental things that keep us sort of uh, a tight nucleus as far as what you know we're trying to create but till all is one is basically referring to the fact that everything already is one so we're just kind of waiting for the rest of the world to sort of catch on to that and realize that you know the entire course of existence is one big amalgamation and you just kind of hit on my next question one thing that I did like uh, about Seeing you guys is the aggression on stage, for one. You have a great stage presence. Thank but you. after I saw you, I spoke with you. And what I really like is uh, you have a vision for uh, Till All Is One and the future of music in general and where Till All Is One might fit into bringing and supporting the music of the future. Uh, what is your vision of the uh, Till All Is One's future? Well, I, I think I think I speak for a lot of people, um, especially people I've spoken to, uh, friends that are, you know, people in the passing that sort of feel like the the music that's being purported right now, uh, as far as what's in the mainstream, has really become a very bland and stale regurgitation of itself. Uh, there's, it's really lacking in soul, and I, I believe that everything is cyclical, and uh, you know it's almost like every 15, 20 years, people sort of get fed up with listening to the same nonsensical type of stuff, and, and are, you know they begin to crave um, something that actually comes from a deeper well, and that actually has spirit to it, and uh, I believe that that is going to be our function as far as where we fit into the landscape of music is kind of pushing the envelope towards something that you know is really coming from a meaningful place and just the same way that our music is an amalgam of different things that we all loved and appreciated growing up um, our goal is not just to be a, a successful band in and of our, ourselves or just by ourselves I, I think we, we definitely want to bring 
uh, bring back the kind of camaraderie. I know for me, um, in the early 90s, I, I felt like I experienced something that was uh, very grassroots when it came to uh, how seamlessly all these different types of groups came together because of a similar spirit and similar vision, regardless of genre. Uh, you know. It was kind of like a brotherhood. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I believe that, you know, that the stage is set for that to happen again. And, uh, you know, if we could even be part of that catalyst on any level, uh, I, you know, I'd feel blessed and honored by that. And that's one thing that I want to say, speaking with you, that I really do appreciate even more uh, than you guys being a great band. You guys are great people, but your vision of not only the selflessness of all for one, but the community. It's the band, but a community. And you're not only looking after yourselves, you're looking after and trying to help out other bands that are in your situations in better or worse situations. There's no hate or, or competition. It's a matter of let's be a brotherhood. Let's make this thing stand with all of us till all is one. Uh, and that's what I really do appreciate more than anything. I, I love your music. Uh, they have an album out, Front Row to the Apocalypse, uh, an EP that's four songs that, personally, my favorite track is the, is the title track. That thing just blows me away. But I have actually four favorite songs off of that disc because there's not one bad one. And <laughs> the only, the one problem I do have with your disc, and it's what I have, a problem I have with a lot of discs that I really like, is, that, is it ends. <laughs> it comes to an end. You're just waiting for that next song to appear, and dang, it's over. So uh, speaking of your album, you guys uh, play around supporting the album and all that. So where can people go to pick up your CD, your EP? Most, most important, where do people go to see you live? And when I say where do they go, where can they find you? Uh, what outlets do you uh, have for them to find your gigs, your CDs, and to just touch base with all this one? Does anyone want to cover this? Or should I ramble with that? Go for it. Yeah. OK. <laughs> um, well. The vocalist for a reason. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I'll play bass. The front I'll be the All right. Uh, well, uh, front row at the apocalypse is actually available on iTunes. Um, if you want a hard copy of it, as far as it stands right now, um, that your best bet is to come to one of our shows. That's, I think, one of the uh, sort of balloon frosting benefits of someone actually showing up. Is you can get a hard copy of the record. Um, Please go on to our official website, tillallisone.com, or go on to uh, facebook.com slash tillallisone. Like the page. Share it with your friends. Um, also, reverbnation.com till, slash tillallisone. Um, you know, our, our, as far as uh, where we'll be playing next, we're working on uh, booking another show, most likely with the Chimps, because uh, those guys are great. and We, we definitely have a, a great camaraderie with them. We really enjoy their stuff. And if you haven't heard them, check them out as well. And we started to collaborate with this other band called Eye of Ember 2, which is a new band like us. And they're really easygoing guys. That's why we like to, you know, collaborate with them and organizing a show together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I try to create spirit. a team, you know, like a team that, you know, we present to clubs, places like, like, hey, we're like three, four bands together. That's our night. And that dude can really sing. Their lead singer's really got some chops. And uh, they're, they're, uh, they're more on, like, the, the progressive metal tip. So it's really kind of cool to see uh, that. That's why I think that show was also so much fun because it was a really good mishmash of different yeah. stuff. Right. So it was a kind of like melting pot. Yeah. Of like different genre, but we all kind of like the same type of people. Like very easygoing, no ego, no drama. <coughs> well, the one thing about music is once you throw all the genres aside, it's all it's all music. Yeah. It all has the very same fundamentals. It's just how you go about using those to make it what it is. And you don't have to be a rap band to play with a rap band, metal band to play with a metal band. Because in my opinion, if you go to a show and three bands, four bands are the exact same band, 
boring. Getting boring. Yeah, by the second band, well, a third band, really, when you notice what's going on, you're like. Mm -hmm. So when you throw in a little bit, like you said, you, you uh, the chimps, and. Uh, Eye of Amber. Eye of Amber. It, it makes it a fun, interesting, and productive night. And when I say productive, there's people like me out there that see you guys and go, where, where have I been? I mean, they've been out there. I just haven't found them. So I'm so glad I found them now. And hopefully you go out, their Facebook page, Reaver, Reaver, Reaver Nation. Nation. I'll get my tongue here soon. Uh, as long as I don't get your tongue. <laughs> and not only are they a band and he a lead singer, he's also a comedian. He'll be here all week, so come by and say hi. <laughs> Tip the waiters. Uh, yeah, try the veal. Try the veal. <laughs> but definitely go out, support not only Talal is one, support all your local bands. Support your chimps, your Eye of Amber, your, uh, your local band. You never know. You might go to your favorite local band. Find there's other bands out there that you like, too. And that's the extra benefit of going to local shows, is finding new music to you and supporting bands that you would have never, ever found on the radio or at home just sitting there going, what are, what's going to come to me next? So go out, find it, and definitely, once again, support Till All Is One. They're going to be playing at a, at a venue near you. Their CD, like you said. Front Row of the Apocalypse, available on iTunes. Get it. Get it. And on you that. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. If you get it and you regret it, well, I don't know what to say because you're not. You're not going to get it. You're not. I mean, you're going to get it, but you're not going to regret it. It is a four-song EP that will open your eyes, blast your ears, and give you a good time. So once again, for three quick questions with E&M, till all is one, we are out. <laughs> Cross the line